Hey, it's Holly. In today's video, we are <laughs> once again back in 1989. Okay, so here's what happened. I went through my spreadsheet thinking, you know what, I should update this a bit because I have a column in my cataloging spreadsheet where I say whether I've done a video on something or not to help me remember what I've done a video on or not. Um, and I hadn't updated that column in quite a long time. So I went through my complete sets, what I still hadn't done a video on, and I realized there's a lot of compacts that I still have not gotten to, that I have, but I still have not gotten to. Um, so that was <laughs> concerning to me because this was one of the first ones that I got as a child. So this is the 1989 Midges Play School. Um, I love this one so much. And uh, though I probably got this, I don't know, maybe six plus months ago, uh, this particular one came from England. I remember purchasing this one. Uh, you know, sometimes it just takes you a while to get to it. So I can't wait to show you around. Let's get started. Today's video is a special one. This is the 1989 Midges Play School Compact. And as I mentioned, this is one of the first compacts that I received as a child. Again, if you've been following along on my channel over the last uh, almost year and a half now, I guess, maybe over a year and a half, um, all of the Polly Pockets that I have now are not from my original childhood collection. I gave them all away to a neighbor uh, myself. That was my own, um, my own will. Uh, as a teenager and I have now recollected them in the last year and a half as an adult. So uh, this is one that I did uh, have as a child. It was one of the first ones, if not maybe the first one I ever got. I have a hard time remembering, um, but I know that I, there was about six of these compacts uh, that we initially got between my sister and I. And this one uh, was one of the first and this one was <laughs> of the ones that we had. This one was for sure mine and it was uh, one of my favorites. So this one, we will go ahead and open it up. It's, you know, very simple yellow case on the outside. It's square. It's not the most exciting looking one, uh, but it is gorgeous. So this one is, uh, I want to say it's kind of like a preschool. Um, it's probably the best way to put it. Uh, it's called Midge's Play School. I guess you could say that it's also a nursery. Um, I have heard that depending on where you uh, live, what country you're in, sometimes there are daycares mixed in with preschools or earlier grades. So perhaps that's what's going on here too. Uh, but you'll notice that it goes kind of all the way from baby through school age. So this one is interesting because it does have almost an apartment at the top. So there's a bed with a side table and a toilet. We know that I love when there's a toilet in it. Um, and a sink. So there's like a little sleeping quarters for presumably the person that's running the school. Let's say Midge. Um, the second level is more of a nursery. So we can see that there's a stroller or a pram in there. There's a rocking horse and a crib. Really great use of stickers to bring some pops of color into this. Um, including at the top back as well and then all the way through down to this third level which is a school. So there are some school desks across and then a teacher's desk on this side with the playground through the window in the background and I love how they used color on those stickers because it really does make a difference. Um, I often talk about color palette when I show these compacts and you'll notice that in the top half almost everything is white, blue and pink right? In terms of what is painted, if not everything, I guess it is all. And then in the bottom, oh, we changed our colors. So down here it is white, green, and orange. So you can see that probably these were painted separately on separate assembly lines. However, these are uh, manufactured, but one color palette here, one color palette here, which I find interesting because typically it is fairly consistent across the board. So that's something that's kind of unique uh, that I noticed about this one. Um, there is a pond. Unfortunately, there are no fish in this pond, but there is a pond there. 
and this lower level is probably just an unsafe playground <laughs> it's the way that i am looking at this as a parrot uh just open water not a great idea um there's a slide that slides directly onto the hard ground or into a wall so also not great um i think this is supposed to be a ball that's over here there's a paved uh, pathway um, what I presume is a sand pit or sand box of some sort with a teddy bear on the side, a shovel over here, there's a tree stump over here, and then two bench seating areas at the front. Um, this one does have a pretty standard, like not very exciting gate on the front, so it's just a red gate with some vertical lines through it, but swings open and closed, so nothing too crazy there, but it's um, a really sweet little playset. So that's the playset itself. Uh, let's have a look at the figures. So it comes with uh, three pieces, I should say, two figures and an accessory. So um, the first is Midge. So this is one of the sets that did not come with a poly. So uh, because this is Midge's play school, it comes with Midge, um, who I feel <laughs> very connected to as a ginger. Um, she's got orange hair that's cut in a bob. That's what my hair would have looked like when this <laughs> compact uh, was given to me originally when I was probably about five years old. It was when I think I received these. Um, I had bangs like that and a short bob that was just past my ears. So <laughs> that's probably exactly what I looked like. Uh, she's got a long sleeve green shirt on with blue overalls, green shoes. Um, her paint is in absolutely fantastic condition. So that was exciting. Uh, next up is um, the baby. And is there a name on this baby? No, nope, just baby. Okay, so here is the baby. Um, so the baby, the interesting thing about this one is there's a lot of babies that look like this in the vintage Polly Pocket era. A lot of these things are obviously made on the same mold and then just painted differently. This one though, the hair, and I don't know if the color is really going to come across on camera here, but, um, please know that this hair is borderline green. It's very yellow in a neon way that it is slightly green. And, um, the one I had as a child was like that too, and it really bothered me because it's just a very unnatural looking hair color. Like on a baby, like it's fine if it's a if it's a child or an adult and you know they're old enough to dye their hair, or whatever, but you would never dye a baby's hair this color. Um so it just looks like they were maybe like very fair blonde haired and then went swimming in chlorine and it's just like mildewed, <laughs> like it, it looks awful. So um, hopefully that color will come across uh, either here or in the photo, but that's the baby. And the baby has a standard bottom to it so that it will fit into the different spots in the playset. And then the third piece is um, a little red car truck thing. Now, uh, I didn't have a lot of poly vehicles, so I think, well, I shouldn't say that. I had a bunch of horses, um, but in terms of the vehicles, just thinking off the top of my head, I had this one. I had the one that came with the Magical Mansion, which has rolling wheels on it. And then I had the one from the fast food restaurant, which um, is pink, but the wheels don't move. And those are much larger vehicles. This one, you can fit a figure into it, uh, like that and it fits but it's just it's kind of awkward um, and of course you can put the baby in there sort of but the baby doesn't really like fit properly so every time I played with this I thought well this was actually maybe meant for the adult uh, figure however old Polly and her friends are supposed to be um, but it's funny because it's so small compared to the other ones and I'm just thinking, do I have one of those available to me in the room? Probably, bear with me while I just dig through random stuff here. But it's it's one of those things where I just, I find it kind of strange. Um, so what would that be? What year was that? 1994 probably was the driver one, right? And just, I just have everything organized now, which is lovely. Right, so if you compare, uh, this is the one from the Polyville uh, Burger Restaurant, right? If you compare the size of this to the size of this, outrageous, 
<laughs> outrageous right so it was kind of strange I basically had this I had the one from the mansion and then I had this little one and I always felt like this one was weird because it, it's probably meant to be like the equivalent of a power wheels if you know what I'm talking about those child vehicles <laughs> um, that go very low speed but it's it doesn't really fit the baby so and that's the figure that that came with the set right was the baby so um, hard to say hard to say what the plan was there but I've always found that kind of weird so those are the three figures that or pieces that come with the set there so all in all it is a very cute set um and we really just have two places where you can put a figure so um don't love the baby being that close to the water but what can we do um but that is really the set there so I've, I do find on some of these earlier sets, they didn't account for any more places to stand. There's often very few places for someone to stand. And in the later sets, it seems that they're more plentiful, but there it is. That's the 1989 Midges Play School. Okay, so my favorite part, <laughs> my favorite part of this is probably the toilet <laughs> um, because I'm really not a fan of this. I also think that this slide is just like huge um, for a child. This is just me being concerned as a parent, um, but uh, also like we don't, we don't love this open water folks. We don't love that. Uh, at least there's a gate so the kids aren't running out into the street, but there is a vehicle, so <laughs> I don't know if that's any better. Um, and uh, you know what? I didn't notice the little details of there's like a little doll down there. And then there's also, if that's coming through, there's a doll. And then on this side, it's so hard to see, but there's a little bag under the teacher's desk. So that's pretty cute too. Um, but uh, it is interesting to me, like this this concept is pretty foreign to Canada, like having, <laughs> although, you know, here I am saying that and I'm thinking of uh, where my daughters went to daycare and they did have kind of an infant room and then they also had a preschool room. So maybe it's not so foreign. Um, and it was a uh, home daycare. So the person that ran the whole center did, it was the bottom two floors of her house. So maybe, maybe, um, but it's just, it's funny because it's so set up like a school and uh for my daughters in preschool it was not like that so anyway that's how i feel about that um but uh yeah i'm gonna go with the toilet on this one <laughs> even though i love this set i'm gonna go with the toilet i also am just i'm not a fan of this baby's hair i'm um, just trying to dig the baby out here i'm not a fan of the baby's hair like it's so yellow isn't it awful um but like green yellow i should say like it's really like it's not not a good color um so yeah let me know in the comments um what you think of this one um also please like the video when you leave a comment all of that stuff helps the algorithm and if you haven't subscribed yet please do hit the subscribe button too that's just the easiest cost-free way to support the channel um and i appreciate all of your support um with this channel over the last year and a half so um thank you to everyone that that does that for me um, I received a few comments, questions about my nails, um, which I mean, half the video is my hands. So, um, you can see that my nails are not sparkly right now. Um, if I'm wearing this nail color, it's like regular nail polish and it's because I needed my nails painted and I freaked out. So, uh, that's a very quick, uh, nail polish that I don't typically use because it chips really easily. Um, in some of my previous videos, I had more uh, white nails that were very glittery um, and people were asking me <laughs> multiple comments asking me what nail polish it was. It's uh, it's not really nail polish. So um, typically when I do my nails, I paint my nails with a gel polish because um, they will hold up for like a week and a half, two weeks, and then I redo them. I just do them myself at home. Um, but I use my hands a lot, um, being a parent as well, like I, 
constantly have something in my hands. So um, I need my hands to stand up to a bit of abuse. So um, I like to use gel polish for that reason, but that nail polish is actually just white gel polish. And then when it's still tacky, I cover them in like really microfine glitter and then I put a top coat on. So it's basically, I just dipped them in glitter. <laughs> That's why they're so sparkly. So you can't get that in a bottle unless you buy yourself a bottle of glitter and then you can. So um, there's your answer to that question. So probably not the most helpful answer, but pick a color of glitter, go from there. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for me for this week. I can't really think of much else to say, uh, but I am planning to um, get through a lot of those uh, compacts and stuff that we just haven't had time to look at. And I don't know why uh, that got so delayed or, um, I mean, we just, we've had a lot to talk about clearly a year and a half in and we're still, I have still so much stuff that we haven't shown, but working on that, working on still getting things together, hopefully to get a sale going um, because I'm like sitting here like looking at this like mountain of poly stuff around me. Um, I need to get rid of some of it, <laughs> a lot of it, most of it, the duplicates and the empty cases and all of that stuff. So stay tuned for details on that. Uh, we're working on it, but um, can't think of anything else. So if you are on social media, please feel free to come follow along on social media. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Just look up Pocket Vintage Toys. That's the best place to connect with me outside of YouTube. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.